Hello, Leo. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Leo is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Uh, if there's anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Leo, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And this is a pretty good way to start. This is the Prince of Wands. This is your fixed fire energy. This is the Leo archetype activated. So I feel like you're very much um, in your energy, in your zone right now. You're, you're feeling yourself. I think you are, um, you're becoming the best version of yourself. Now let's see what's going on with this energy. This is a lot of creative energy, a lot of committed creative energy, a lot of leadership energy. Let's see where we're going with this, though. Oh, we're, oh, we're going to outer space. <clears throat> we're going, uh, there is no limit. Um, so to me, this is saying that we're, we're trying to apply some of our energy to a situation that has been kind of slow in developing, right? Oh, look at that now, Wheel of Fortune. Oof, the wheels are turning. That is, that is for sure. It wasn't always that way. We've got some more fire energy up here. And we've got some more. See, so we've got a we got three court cards here. So that tells me that there are other people involved here. That this might be a work thing, a family thing. Uh, you're kind of navigating. Um, you're navigating your relationship with other people. And we've got the death card in the position of your relationships. You might be. I hate to say it. You might be realizing that some people involved in this project with you are not pulling their weight. Okay, another court card here at the end. And to me, it's all this fire energy, right? And the fire energy really, we're perhaps concerned that we're doing something impulsive, that maybe we, maybe you got to let somebody go. You know what I mean? Maybe this is a situation where you realize that there are certain elements in your life right now that um, are kind of slowing you down, holding you back, that are not pulling their weight, right? But let's, uh, let's select the mystery card. This is a bonus card, confirmation card. It's one random card from the Smith Waite Tarot. Now we will put down right over here. We're going to put Jimbo, the Lizard King, a.k.a. Mr. Lizard, right there on top. You might be able to hear my cat scurrying around upstairs. Uh, maybe Titi will come down and, and grace us with her presence, uh, since we are doing the Leo reading anyway. Um, maybe she'll, she'll come down and see us. Yeah. But that mystery card, if at any point during the show, you feel like you know what that card is, or you have a hunch, put that down in the comments, right? Let's do it together. Let's make it a group exercise in intuition. All right. Let's take a look around the room here. We've got some nice major arcana energies. We have the wheel of fortune and we've got the world or also called the universe. So I feel like you really are expanding your life. You really are leveling up. You really have this committed energy, this creativity, this leadership, this ambition that really, literally, the sky is the limit for you. And you're feeling it. So when you run into elements, maybe there, maybe there is this kind of, this earthy energy that's a little bit slow, a little bit more, um, not, I'm not going to say lazy, right? But I'm going to say a little bit slower, a little bit more deliberate. Whereas you got this really fiery, you know, Leo kind of energy where you're just ready to get it done and keep growing and keep building. There's a sense of urgency, right? There's a little bit of pep in your step right now. But you encounter this person, uh, whoever they might be. Uh, it could be an older female energy. And I feel like it kind of slows things down. And then some of that inertia, some of that lag is kind of drifting back toward you. And now you're kind of, you're up against it, so to speak. All right. Uh, but we got the wheel of fortune. We've got the moon and the death card. We've got a lot of fire, 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 fire. So this is a, this is a problem that you are definitely the solution to. Okay. Um, 
don't have any water energy, right? There's no sentimentality. There's no, it's kind of like uh, it, in a situation like this, it doesn't pay for you to really be overly emotional, right? But we, because there's an absence of water, we know that we need to be compassionate and we need to be patient. But at the same time, that's really not the name of the game for you, right? You've got this fiery energy and you're trying to make a certain amount of progress. Maybe you have a deadline. Maybe you've got your own kind of personal timeline for something and you need it to, to succeed. Yeah. We've got a little bit of air energy as well with the seven of swords in the background here. And I think there is kind of, it feels like there's a little bit of confusion about what to do with this person or how to deal with this situation, how to approach them, how to decide uh, what comes next, how to talk to them, right? Um, the seven, I think, is us kind of entertaining different ideas. Well, do we have a conversation with them? Do we just let them go? Do we cut contact? Um, do we just try to push ourselves through and just hope they kind of get out of the way? Um, it might not be a person. It could be a series of people. It could be a group of people. It could be some sort of a bureaucracy or an agency that is just kind of dragging their feet on something, but you want it to happen now, right? So we're figuring out how to deal with this, with this kind of energy, um, because I don't know that there really is anything that you can do about it. Unless this is an employee or a coworker, and then we might have a little bit of options, you know, uh, we do have, well, we've had the air, we've got a little bit of earth energy, but the earth energy seems to be kind of what the obstacle, you know, what is, is in our way right now. The obstacle to us completing our tasks is this earth energy. Now, this really could be just some very heavy equipment that is taking a long time to move. Uh, it could be some kind of red tape. It could be people dragging their feet. It could be somebody that just operates a little bit slower than you do, right? That you're really fast paced and they're just kind of slow and calm and deliberate, but you've got this creative fire. And I feel like you really, um, you have a lot of plans here. I feel like this is, well, we've got the wheel of fortune card. This is your time to manifest this project, the success, this outcome that you want. And I feel like it's something that you have worked for and waited for quite a long time, I think. Maybe like, I don't know, several years it feels like that you've been pushing toward this and working toward this. And now there's just, it's like, you know, you're, you're, you're driving on the freeway, right? We're going to go ahead and use this analogy. Um, let me switch cameras here. You're, you're driving on the freeway and you're going the speed limit, right? You're not speeding. You're not doing anything reckless. You're trying to avoid doing something reckless. This is that impulsive princess of wands, right? You're trying to stay just kind of right, right in the, the limits of, um, of activity, of action. So you're on the freeway, you're driving the speed limit and you're just, you're, you're going, right? There's nothing in your way. Suddenly this other driver cuts you off gets right in front of you going very, very slow. Okay. And for one, that's kind of dangerous, right? If someone's coming at full speed on the freeway and you're doing half of that speed, don't get right in front of them, right? That seems like a dangerous situation, but I kind of feel like that's what happened. You know, that you were, you had a certain momentum to this life, to this work, to whatever this is. Now this might be a family thing. It might be a work thing. It might be a spiritual thing. It could be a relationship thing even, uh, it, but it's, it's definitely got this creative fire. Yeah. And you had this momentum, somebody got right in front of you and it's almost like you have to slam on your brakes now, right? It's almost like you have to slam on your brakes. The good news is that there's plenty of space. There's plenty of other lanes that you can, you can go around. Um, you just got to figure out the best way to do that. And if you're on the freeway, this happens in an instant. I think this instant has been kind of long for you. Maybe uh, this has been a month or two or three. Trying to really determine how best to go around this. It could be a person, but how to go around this energy. That seems to be blocking your way a little bit, right? Maybe you had to slam on your brakes. 
There's a lot of other space here. Now, what is it that you're doing? Well, you've got your Leo energy activated. You are, you're leading the way somewhere. You're at the front of the, the pack here. And I think you do have a lot of people that are following you. It feels like there are a lot of people that um, maybe you're in charge of. Maybe it is a work thing. Although we don't see a whole lot of the earth energy here. What we could be talking about really is what is slowing you down is not so much a person, but this earth energy could be um, the resources, right? It could be that you are, you are sailing along here, um, you know, with this momentum, but then you're running into some financial difficulties. Maybe we're having trouble securing the loan. Maybe they're dragging their feet, really providing you with the resources that you need. Okay. Um, I do feel like there are, have there been financial concerns lately? I feel like something involving this is definitely financial. Um, it may be, well, maybe this person, maybe we need them as an investor, but at the same time, they're kind of slowing everything down. Or maybe that person is just like the bank, right? That is just taking their time to approve you for, for whatever this is. Yeah. So I feel like there is something financial related to this, but if you can get this thing worked out, we've got this wheel of fortune. Everything is going to be fantastic. This is money well spent. This is a huge return on your investment. You're energetic. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know what I'm doing with money, right? This is, this is energy we're talking about. And I think all of your efforts into this situation, even though it may be very difficult now, are going to pay off. This thing is going to grow and expand, and you are right where you need to be. This is kind of the final test. How do we deal with this last hiccup, this last speed bump, right? And I feel like that's what it is, a speed bump. I don't feel like it is, you know, the road is closed or anything. It's not a huge blockage or obstacle. Um, it's a speed bump. And so, yes, maybe we have to slow down as we go over the speed bump. But then once we get past this, full speed ahead once again. Okay. Now, this is some really strong Jupiter energy. So this, this is something that is going to set you up for the rest of your life. Okay. And it's just a matter of getting over this, this speed bump, really. And this is the world or universe card. And this is, this is probably the most difficult card to read in a tarot spread. I don't know if you knew that. Because this card means everything. And it means nothing. This is saying that there is this vast universe out there. Um, and it's just sitting there. But it's up to us to go explore it, to go carve our little piece of it. Uh, it's up to us to make something of this, right? This is all the time and all the space in the world, uh, in the universe. And um, what it needs is our input. It needs our, it needs to, to match up with our energy, right? So um, this could really be nothing. This could be a situation that nothing is going on. And that's why sometimes this card is just about uh, delays. There's been um, a shutdown, a slowdown. Things are not happening, right? A lot of Saturn in this card. Um, and it's just really kind of really slowing down, really just hitting the brakes on everything. And now there's nothing going on. Yeah, see, there's the cat. I told you she'd come down here to see you. Um, but this card also is the opposite of that. This could, really could be that everything is possible right now. And all it really needs to get going is a little bit of fire to get into this earth energy. Um, because the world or universe card is obviously it's Saturn, but it's also the element of earth. And now we've got our process of creation that I always talk about on the channel, fire to earth, fire to earth, right? And that is how you're manifesting because you see this opportunity and it's, it's almost like you've, you, you found something. I don't know what exactly you're doing, but you found something and you're just like, wow, I could do so much with this. How come nobody saw this before? Like you have that vision to see exactly what this could be. It's like you found the perfect building or the perfect lot or something and you just, you feel like, hey, I, I know exactly what kind of, uh, you know, business I can, uh, I can 
establish here or you know whatever the case is here now we got the cat here um i knew she'd she'd come by and say hi to you um not too close to the candle so we've got the fire and earth this is the process of manifestation so all this universe really needs is your creative input okay um and i wonder if that's kind of the secret to what's going on with this if this is a person if this is like maybe an older female energy, they might just need a little bit of motivation from you, you know, that there might be a way that we could kind of um, get the lead out of their shoes, you know, that we can motivate them, that you can inspire them. Rather than feeling like they're an obstacle in your way, that they're a speed bump that you have to go over or around, um, maybe we look at this as somebody that we need to enlighten. Yeah, somebody that we need to um, bring over to our side. Yeah, and get them out on board as an ally. Yeah, we're looking at them as uh, as a potential problem or enemy or something, but they're not. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is water of Earth. There's a lot of water in this card, different than your fire, of course. But the water has a lot of wisdom, a lot of functional wisdom, a lot of intuition, a lot of compassion. So this person might actually be exactly what you need right now in terms of this project, this life, whatever it is you're working on. Uh, so rather than finding a way to get away from them, maybe we find a way to bring them into the fold because I think they have a lot to offer you. Okay? I really, I, I do. Now, um, is, is there something going on with your favorite coffee shop? Spirit's telling me to ask about the coffee shop. I don't know if you have a, like a favorite coffee shop that you haven't been to, um, or if this is, maybe it's a ploy to get this person, um, get in a conversation with this person, maybe, you know, take them for coffee or something like that. I feel like you've got a, like a spot that's, that you usually go to, uh, but I don't know that you've been there lately. Maybe this is a chance for you to go back, you know? Um, what we don't want, though, is this princess of wands to get too much uh, license, uh, because this is this is very impulsive. This is also fire to earth, but this is like this is someone that has zero impulse control. Whatever they think or feel or whatever they imagine, they just do it. No filter, no checks and balances. It just comes straight out. They're acting out any every impulse that they have, right? And we don't really want this. So this could be the way that you might um, just kind of react to this person in anger or in that kind of impulsive behavior, right? So we need to make sure that we keep this in check because I can see that this person might say something or do something or when you're sitting there like waiting for somebody to move and you just, you want to just blurt something out, right? This is the car that would do that. We got to be careful of this because I think this is, this is what's looming over your head. See, this is at the top of the path of the dove. Um, this is, this is kind of what we're, this is what we're looking at. Okay. And um, it's good that you recognize that in yourself, of course, um, because I think otherwise that would happen rather than the fire to earth energy we really want, which is this more kind of. Uh, it, this is more cosmic. This is more related to like your destiny and your larger plans. And so there's, um, there's either those immediate impulsive reactions that we could manifest, or we can think bigger, right? And think of what is the world that we want to create? What is the world that we want to manifest? And then we kind of make sure that our behavior is in harmony with that, right? And that Princess of Wands is not usually in harmony with our bigger plans. Um, but the uh, Seven of Swords back here, this is some miscommunication. This might be some, uh, some blockages as far as our uh, mental energy goes. So maybe there was a time that you tried to just have a conversation with this person and maybe that didn't really get received well. Maybe that didn't, you didn't really connect, you know. Uh, I'm also getting an impression of a, a, a gold locket, like a piece of jewelry. Um, I don't know if it's a heart shape or if it's just a circuit, but it's gold, it's small, and there's a photograph inside. 
And I don't know if that, if you have that, if you were, someone gave that to you, uh, or if you lost it, I feel like, I feel like you have it, but you don't know where you have it. Right. And I don't know what the connection here is with that, but that's a detail that's coming through for me that hopefully will resonate with, with someone who's watching. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, I guess let's go to the path of the serpent. And as we do this, I'd like to ask for your subscription. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe and it really does help out the channel. And I appreciate that. All right. So we've got the moon and the death card next. And these are, they seem like sinister cards, right? They seem like the obstacles to getting back to our fire energy. See, we start here with this fire, but then we run into this earth and then we get kind of to these other major arcana cards. And these two cards are about change, right? I feel like there's a lot of change that's taking place, a lot of kind of personal growth, a lot of evolution. Um, the moon card is usually uh, our dream life. And this is more nightmare than, than dream, I think. But this is really the idea that... Um, the future's not set in stone. And so we might have be having a difficulty right now accepting the fact that we were on this momentum and we thought it was smooth sailing and then suddenly there's this obstacle. Um, this is the, the realization that we cannot be certain of what's happening next, right? And so when I say, well, maybe you got to kind of try to take this person to coffee or, you know, somehow bring them over to your side, there might be this instant reaction that just says, that'll never work, right? But that's us, that's us assuming that the sun will rise tomorrow morning or sometime within the next 24 hours. We can be 99.99999% sure that the sun will rise, but we don't know that for sure. You don't know until you go, right? So every moment Every, I don't even, every split second in the future is unknown. I don't know what's going to happen right now or in one second from now. So the future in that sense is always dark. All we really are experiencing is what we're perceiving right now. Um, the odds are that, yes, things are going to go a certain way, but we don't know until we get there. So I think that this card really is about being open to open to possibilities that you don't like, you know? Um, being open to suggestions that initially make you want to just say, no, that's, that's ridiculous. There's no way. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Um, it's that kind of instinctual reaction to things, right? We don't like things for whatever reason. Um, if I say maybe this person can be an ally and you just automatically, no, no way. You know, why is it that we have those reactions? Well, that's part of the moon card. I also feel that you've been having a lot of vivid dreams lately. Um, Spirit showing me a white owl. And I don't know if you've been dreaming of a white owl or what the significance of a white owl is to you, but I feel like that's a, a, um, an important guide for you, right? An important um, uh, spirit animal, okay? The white owl. Uh, but I feel like you should be writing down your dreams. If you're not already, I feel like that is something that's going to be very useful to you. Um, I do think you, do you journal daily? I feel like you do. And I feel like this can be part of that process. Maybe you need two separate journals, one by the bed and one kind of for your daily stuff, like kind of a conscious, unconscious journals, right? Like having those two. Uh, the death card is coming next and the death cards in the environment and that really we could look at that and say oh yeah that means you got to get this person out of here you got to say bye-bye fire them dismiss them cut contact with them uh, tell them to take a hike what yeah we could look at it quite literally and say if there's something in your way you have to remove it right and maybe sure maybe that is the only thing that's really going to um, get you back on this path of fire that we see, right? Because it, what it kind of feels like is that you were soaring really high and we kind of had to dip down. And if you look, we got this fire energy that if we take these away, the fire energy just kind of swoops down and swoops back up. But we ran into a little trouble on our way down. 
right? That we maybe got our wings, um, you know, uh, a little bit muddy as we were swooping down. And it's going to take a little bit of letting go, a little bit of pause to clean off our feathers and then fly back upward. And so I wonder if you were, um, you were on this easy path driving along on the freeway, right? Going the speed limit, you got the cruise control. Maybe you started messing with your phone, messing with the radio. Maybe you started putting your hands out the window and just thinking, life can never be better. Nothing could ever happen. This is perfect and I'm the best. And that's when we then don't notice that somebody cut us off, right? You should always drive safely. I feel like that's a common message here. Drive safely. Don't be on your phone. Don't text and drive. Just focus on the road. You never know when some slow poke is going to come get right in front of you, right? But I kind of feel that's what it was, that we were just kind of, you know, we were just gliding around having a good time. Oops, we got a little bit of mud on our wings, and it's going to take us a minute to, to be able to, um, to, to get back to elevation, yeah. But the, the death card, it doesn't always mean getting rid of things, right? This is, this is transformation. This is change. I feel like there is, a, there is a change that is needed in right in front of you right now. On this path that you're on, something needs to change. And maybe it's really just that person not being part of the picture anymore. But maybe it is the evolution and the transformation of your relationship with this person. Okay. I almost wonder if this is like a mother-in-law or something. I'm getting kind of an older female energy that's coming through. Um, Spirit's telling me that you work from home. Are you a, are you a remote worker? Um, that, could be, that could really be what's going on here. And then the older female energy kind of makes sense, right? Um, and I think this may be a situation where it's not somebody that you can fire. It's not somebody that you can um, cut contact with, right? So I think the only choice really is to figure out a, a way to make it work. Figure out a way to harmonize um, with this person in such a way that you can continue your flight. Yeah. Uh, and, and not be hindered by, by this person. Because you're working on, again, your work is something that's going to bring you a lot of prosperity. And if this is an older family member, it's going to help them too, right? So maybe it's not just about us having that conversation. Maybe there's something a little bit more that needs to happen. Yeah. Uh, but we do see you getting back to your work. And we've got the four of wands here. This is the difficult part. I think this is kind of like uh, burying the hatchet. This is making amends. This is tying up loose ends. This is the resolution of whatever the issues are between the two of you. This is those issues getting not forgiven, forgotten, let's be best friends, but for the sake of harmony, for the sake of productivity, we're going to get along. We might just agree to not like each other, but for the sake of the business, for the sake of the family, or for the home, or whatever, we're going to just try to work together. You know, we don't have to hang out. We don't have to be best friends. But listen, you've got work to do. I've got work to do. Let's figure out a way to do, do that in harmony with each other. At least stay out of each other's way, right? Um, and interestingly, we do see at the end here the queen of... Wands. So there is, to me, there is a possibility that this is going to become the Queen of Wands, that this person is going to become now an ally to you. That is going to become a very, a very, very much a valued uh, member of your team. Okay. And maybe having this, having a conversation in a certain kind of way will, again, kind of bring them over to your side, right? I, I see that, I see that kind of happening. Um, What's what happened at the grocery store recently? Spirit's telling me um, that there's some. I don't know if it's a joke, um, but there's some. There's a lot of laughter at the grocery store. I don't know if you did. You run into somebody that you used to know, um, or did something kind of silly happen or awkward? And I just I see that there's like a few of you laughing at the grocery store. I don't know what that's about. Let's take a look at the mystery card though. 
Let's see what this is about. And this might give us a clue um, about the outcome with this person, how it's going to kind of, how it's going to resolve itself or come together at the end. I don't know what I'm expecting really in this card, but I am going to say water energy. We don't have any, maybe that's the little bit that we need because you've got in your, in your representative here, you've got air and fire. She's got, or they've got water and earth. So it's really two opposite things. Maybe you need a little bit of water, which will help you to s understand this person a little bit better. And I know it's maybe not your, not your job. Um, but so what, if it's going to help things, maybe we need a little bit of water, right? If you have a prediction, put it in the comments. Here we go. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Eight of wands. Um, but the Eight of Wands, again, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be water, right? So maybe you're not going to understand this person. You don't want to get to know them. You have no interest in having a personal relationship with them. But all these javelins have to be headed the same direction. So this is like, we don't like each other, but we have to be on the same page because we both have the same goals, right? We, we all want the same things, so let's focus on that. And we don't have to be friends. We don't have to get to know each other. We don't have to like each other. Um, and maybe this is the start. Maybe this is where we go first. And then we, we see how that goes. Maybe asking for the water energy right now is a little too much too soon, you know? We are going to do an extended reading, though. If you want to stick around, click on the link up here. Oh, there's one down in the video description. Um, new readings for Leo every Tuesday and Saturday. Uh, I'm here every day. Just come on back, see me again tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, leave a comment for me. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. And I want you to know that you're the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you, and I love you, and we're all in this together.